to Walsh Gym on the campus of Seton Hall on the second round of the National Invitation Tournament. Seton Hall won the NIT in 1953, and this year hit the 20-win mark for the first time in almost a decade. Today they face a youthful UMass team that are hungry to keep playing in the postseason. Now either the Minutemen or the Pirates will join Washington as the second team in the NIT quarterfinal. Whoever wins this game will square off with the winner of tomorrow morning's Northern Iowa Drexel matchup, also on ESPN at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And welcome inside of Walls Gym, John Saunders alongside of Tim Welsh. Into the post and another great move, this time by... Farrell shot is good. Loves to attack, and they'll shoot the three with the best of them. They'll launch from every spot on the floor. Good job spacing, skipping, and knocking it down. Pope having problems in the blocks. Williams. Oh, my goodness. You want to talk about creating a shot. He just finds a way. A lot of times he's in the mix getting rebounds, but when they outlet it to him this deep, and he can get it. Jazz Williams throws a long pass. Oh! Follow by Escher. Putney. Rainbow of a three. That thing almost hit the roof, I think. Putney. A little ball fake. And then hits the jumper inside the three. Well, Raphael Putney's not one of the guys you think it'll knock down a lot of shots from the outside, but today he's looking to score from, out, from the outside the range. The ball's coming back to them, but he likes to get in the mix. Tremendous job by Echo to chase after a loose ball and stick it back up and in. Cosby then drives off the glass, but offensive foul. Well, the pace of the game can get you caught up in the UMass's way. And here again, Seton Hall not making a good decision. Cosby. The defender clearly just waiting, and he had Pope on the other side if he had just slowed up. By Putney, Williams launches. Oh, my goodness! Putney just came in out of nowhere. He's 2-3 zone, and Cosby does not do a good job here on the backside. You see him right, right there, number four. And in a zone, the offside guard has backside protection. Shot clock at one. Oh, and the tip back is there by Morgan. Stone, but it's even tougher to block out in the man when you don't play it very much. And see, the winner looking to advance to the quarters. What a runner by Chaz Williams. Exactly. Oh, tremendous creation underneath by Farrell. Okay. Farrell. Now UMass does a good job of getting into the gaps and. Pretty impressed with their op their ability on the offensive end just to understand that Seton Hall has been pressing out on the perimeter, so they've had to take the ball into the lane to be effective. With it. Carl swings it. Williams. All right, John, the little guy who makes it happen inside and outside. Oh, just tremendous athletic ability by Putney. In his hands, because good things usually happen. So the biggest lead Seton Hall has had. Oh, count that bucket. Vinton got it up on the bus. I thought they were going to call a foul on the floor. Oh, nice reverse by Carter off the great feed from Chaz Williams. Defend with four fouls. Great defense down there, but they can't stop Vincent from getting it back up and in. And again, you saw Paul in the middle of Vincent. Outside, Williams buries the three. Everybody sinks into the middle of the floor. When the ball goes in, you have to still match up with only one man. And they had four guys go into the foul line area. And when your guards turn your back into the play, that's when people become open. Another game in their collegiate careers. Deep, deep shot by Vincent. That's where Seton Hall's game in the line because Seton Hall's defended the line. But here you see just a simple ball reversal. And Vincent had his feet set. Very dangerous. 
A game that started this morning and has moved into the afternoon. And UMAC, as Putney starts to dance, 21-7 run over the last six minutes, making the difference. Well, UMass came in here, a hot basketball team, and they came into Big East territory and proved that they're one, one team that will be a factor in this tournament. 24 wins now for UMass. They advance on to the quarterfinals of the NIT. Up next, the NASCAR.